This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Bossom. I have got Dwayne Dowdle with me. You are the president of the Kempfield Disc Golf Club. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, this is relatively new to our area in North Granville. You just started up in 2021? That's right. Yes, we did. Last year, we uh, set up a nine-hole course and got things started. And uh, it's exploded. Uh, it was well-received last summer. And uh, we've recently expanded to a full 18 basket course. Excellent. Can we, you talk a little bit about what, what it is? What is the game of, of disc golf? Certainly. Uh, disc golf is a sport played much like traditional golf, uh, except that you use discs, also known as Frisbees, and you uh, you throw a Frisbee off the, uh, the first tee, and wherever it lands, you take your next shot. And the object of the game is to get your disc into the basket. I have a basket behind me here. Mm -hmm. If you can see it, it's a little miniature version. So the idea is to get your disc into the basket and that concludes the hole all right so it's the equivalent of getting your golf ball into the cup is that the size of the discs the ones that or is That's that a just miniature a small version now over here i have a full-size disc and you can see it's it's a little smaller than a normal frisbee they're made specifically for the sport of disc golf and they're very aerodynamic and they go very far and there's three types. There's drivers, mid-ranges, and putters. So much like much real like, golf. Much like real golf in, in so much as the, the clubs do different things. And these discs do different things when they're thrown. And you carry them around in a bag. And you have a variety in your bag that are used for different types of shots. So you would throw the disc. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with the concept of this, so I'm learning here too. You throw the disc. So you may need one disc to get it the farthest. And then when you get to that, you may need another disc to get it. You, you nailed it. Yeah, exactly. Ex exactly that. It's very simple. You throw a driver off the tee, typically, and that'll get you as far as possible. Then where it lands, you take your next shot, might be a mid-range. And then when you get close to the basket, you're going to take out one of your putters, which is a disc that doesn't fly quite too far, but it uh, is very accurate. And it's for short distance shots and you want to get it into that basket in as few strokes or throws as possible, just like uh, traditional golf. So the, the each hole has got the next a, hole. and each hole has got a, I believe the word is par, par three, par yes. four. Yes, oh, okay. ju just like traditional golf, uh, each hole has a designated par and our course has a variety of pars uh, ranging from par threes to par fours to par fives. All right. Now, we're very fortunate to have the Ferguson Forest Centre in, in North Granville as well, too. And that's where you're located. Yes, absolutely. The, the Ferguson Forest Centre is an ideal location for all kinds of outdoor activities. And, you know, uh, driving by there, walking by there, riding my bicycle by there, I noticed a, a beautiful big area that would suit disc golf perfectly. And, uh, and sure enough, uh, in meeting with Ferguson Forest Centre and uh, and working out arrangements to get the disc golf in, uh, course installed. Uh, we, the, our, I formed a club and entered into a land use agreement with Ferguson Forest. And uh, they allowed us to uh, install nine baskets last year. And due to the popularity of the game, uh, how, how fast it took off, uh, they've allowed us to expand into a full 18 basket course um, the other half of the course is in a wooded area. So it's got a good variety of, uh, of, of holes. You've got wide open holes and you've got uh, tight wooded holes, which uh, adds to the variety of the game and the challenge. I was looking at your Facebook page last night too, and it is like, it's not just, you know, a green and it's, you're in the woods and part of it too. So you have to be able to maneuver around the trees and the brush and everything like that. You, yeah, you certainly do. And uh, that's where your disc selection can come in very handy. Uh, and picking the right type of disc that'll uh, curve the right way, left or right, and get you around those tight corners and uh, closer to the basket. All right. Now, how how does it work? You know, is it a membership? Do, can you just come out and play? How does that work? The disc golf course is absolutely free to play. Um, you don't need to be a member of our club to play it. Um, we do appreciate uh, membership support. It's a $12 uh, annual fee. 
and it just goes to support the club and our initiatives, uh, tournaments and, and leagues and clinics and things like that. But uh, it's free to play. All you need are uh, the proper Frisbees for it. And you could actually get those if you'd like to come out and try it. Uh, you can go to the Kempville uh, North Grenville Public Library and sign out a set of uh, disc golf discs for free. Come out and try it and uh, bring them back. And if, and if, uh, if you love it, you're going to, and believe me when I say this, many, many people who try it just get hooked and they end up going out and buying their own uh, discs and you can get them online uh, from places like Amazon to local distributors and even the Kempville Training Center uh, right here in town. That's just one more thing, you know, our library has got available to people too. You know, they, 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 they're such a good resource for so many things that happen in North Grenville area. Uh, but this is just an, an added element too. just go and pick up some discs, try it. And if you like it, but most people get hooked, you can go to the training center on Van Buren and they sell the discs and you can get your own set. And, and, and so how do you organize a day or a weekend out there too? So if you have a tournament and people show up, how does that work? Well, what we do is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we we communicate through our Facebook page, and if there's a, an upcoming tournament or league event, we'll make the announcement there. And uh, oftentimes, you can just click that you're interested or going, and we'll uh, we'll be there and we'll uh, receive you, sign you up, and uh, away you go. Um, if you're planning to just come out and play, just uh, get your hands on some frisbees and. Uh, head over to uh, the disc golf course. There's a parking, a huge parking lot right there by the dog park. And just uh, that's where the first uh, tee off is. It's well signed. You won't get lost. Throw your disc, get to the basket. It'll tell you where to go next and, and off you go. Very simple. Uh, then that was going to be my next question is where do you go to start and, and that sort of stuff. It's right near the dog park. Yeah, right near the dog park. There's a, a large parking lot adjacent to the dog park and adjacent to the disc golf course, it's all connected. And uh, you just walk off uh, the parking lot and you'll be right at the first tee. And there's a sign there telling you how far it is. Um, there's a long tee, there's a short tee. Um, and they range from 400 feet to, uh, well, actually our longest hole is 710 feet. So it's a long way it's, and it's a par five, but uh, there are many, many short holes. And it's great. Uh, it, it's a great experience for family members to come out and try it too. We've got all ages. Our oldest, <clears throat> our most senior member, is eighty-one. I saw pictures of it. him on there the other day. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Yes. He and he loves it. Yeah. So it, it's great to see. You know, we've got little little kids uh, all the way up to our our most senior member out there enjoying it, and it, it's busy on the weekend. So if you plan to come out, um, I get there early. Uh, and just, uh, you know, you might have to wait to get on the uh, on the course because it's become so popular that people are driving from all over Eastern Ontario to come to this particular course. Excellent. So we're very, we're very pleased with that. And it's, we couldn't be happier. Oh, now, now you're the president. You must have some help here. Absolutely. I cannot take all the credit for this. Um, I've got members uh, in the club that helped me with everything from installing the baskets to maintaining the course, uh, trimming little trees and such, and making sure that events are, are run smoothly. Uh, and uh, I couldn't ask for a greater uh, bunch of people. They're, the disc golf community is, is, is like most sports clubs, we're uh, very friendly and uh, it's just, I can't ask for better people. Oh, that's 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 great to hear that you you talk about your team like this because you are the president, but you are also the volunteer doing this. Yeah, it's it's all volunteer. It's all and it, we're a nonprofit, so uh, everything that we have is uh, been derived from donations and, and uh, community grant money that I applied for last year and was uh, very lucky to receive uh, from North Granville. So it's it's helped pay for the baskets. The baskets are quite expensive, so. Uh, that that was a great help. Now I found you on Facebook. How else do, do, can people get a hold of you? Well, uh, Facebook is the primary means of uh, reaching out to me. Uh, you can also reach me straight on my phone number six one three two nine six nine five one six. Any questions about disc golf? I'm happy to answer. Uh, if you can't find an any answers to your questions on our Facebook page, shoot me a text and and I'll get right back to you. 
Excellent, excellent. Well, I thank you very much for joining us today, Dwayne Dowdle. I, I know you've been busy. I've been trying to hook up with you to get you here, and you've been really busy just even getting the season started. So thank you for taking the time to, to speak with us here on FYI, and thank you for doing what you do for the people of North Granville. It's time you're, to get outside. It's nice out in the pandemic. We need to get outside. <laughs> we most certainly do, and this is a, it's a great uh, activity for everyone to do. Uh, thank you for your time, Kathy, and it's my pleasure to, to help out. Right. Excellent. Very much. It's the Campbell Disc Golf Club right at the Ferguson Forest Centre in North Granville. Thanks for joining us, Dwayne.